Hello, I'm Kathleen McGuire, Minister of Music at the Congregational Church of San Mateo. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're planning for our Good Friday service. The service will feature a work by composer Franz Liszt called Via Crucis, or Way of the Cross. And it will be performed by Angela Craft Cross on the organ and our chancel choir. This piece is one of the few settings of, in music of the Stations of the Cross. There have been many depictions in visual arts over the years, but only a handful in music. And this is one of the most famous ones. It's very dramatic, really brings the story to life. It's very dramatic, as I mentioned, um, and the choir takes on the part of the different elements of the story. So at different points in time, there might be the angry crowd shout, shouting, crucify him. And then they, you know, the women will sing the part of the, the women mourning at the cross. It's sung in German and in Latin. We use Germanic Latin. For instance, the word crucify um, in Italianate Latin, it would be uh, crucifige. In the Germanic Latin, it's crucifige. So it's a harder sound, which also helps the drama of the piece. And that's the type of Latin that would have been sung by the the German choir at the time when Liszt wrote, wrote this piece. The other thing that's interesting is the, the way the music is constructed. There are several elements that are used, particularly plain chant and also traditional Lutheran chorales, which would have been well known by the congregation at that time. In fact, the congregation would have sung along. We won't be asking the congregation to sing along on this occasion, but uh, I just wanted to point these out because they're, they're quite well known pieces um, to us even today, particularly O Sacred Head, Now Wounded. And now I'm going to play you just a few little elements of this piece, so just to familiarize yourself a bit with it. So this is the, the plan chant that is in, used throughout. So that theme occurs throughout the piece in various forms. So the choir takes on different roles and sometimes they're just commenting on the action. And in this instance, they say that Jesus falls and this happens three times and it goes into a different key each time. So this is just the first instance of the, the crowd shouting out, Jesus falls as he carries the cross. <laughs> And then this is followed by the women singing about how their, their sadness with the stubborn martyr. This is the most famous of the chorales incorporated in this piece, O Sacred Head Now Wounded, or O Haupt voll Blut und Wunden. We'll be singing it in German. Most of the singing in this piece is done by the choir, but there are a couple of soloists. One takes on the role of Pontius Pilate, and another takes on the role of Jesus, who actually sing very famous lines, uh, such as, 
into your hands I commend my spirit, and it is finished. And then Latin, it is finished, is consummatum est. And Jesus singeth, sings it, and then the women respond. Consummatum est. Consummatum est. After Jesus dies, the choir returns with another chorale. And this one is very mournful. O Trarischkeit, o Herzeleit, ist das nicht zu beklagen. Our darkest woe, yet yeah, our tears flow forth. Very mournful. Then the plain chant returns again, reminding us of the music from the beginning, which gives us a sense of the alpha and omega. This time singing about the cross. piece ends with the choir singing in unison, Ave Crux, look at the cross. And the organ finishes the whole piece with just the three notes from the beginning playing chant. We hope you'll join us at Good Friday to experience this wonderful piece of music, which will include some readings an opportunity to sit and just think about the story of Good Friday and what it means to you.